I'm here tomorrow night at 10 Thursday. Right, right. Maybe when I do go outside. please. Gracious Father, you are omnipotent. You know all, you see all, you've made all. Lord, we come before you this evening to um, bless this conclave of our council, to continue your blessing on all those who work diligently in, in our government here in Gloucester Township. Lord, we ask your blessing on the citizens we are grateful for those citizens who take a part in this um, action in our community. We are grateful that they pay attentiveness to what is needed, those who people who are not as fortunate as us, for the poor, the needy. We're grateful for those who serve in that capacity. Lord, as a community, we also lift up prayers of special needs. We lift up a prayer for our Autumn Pasquale who is missing this day. We pray Lord that you would give the family, the community peace of mind. We pray for her protection and safety and we pray that your angels will bring her safely back to her family. Heavenly Father we also are grateful for people who serve especially do we lift up Peter Molinar who recently entered your kingdom. We are grateful for the service he gave to the uh, American um, veterans um, and serving in that capacity as chaplain. These things and all we offer up, Lord, we keep in prayer and thanks and gratitude that you are with us always and that you make this place where we dwell in Gloucester Township a safe place, a place where we can safely raise our families. Heavenly Father, and lastly, I'd like to lift up a special prayer of gratitude that you brought back um, Lieutenant Cordovale to us after a year of leave of sickness. We pray for his continued and blessed uh, recovery, and uh, we pray and also the prayer for our, all of our police officers who serve here and our firefighters. This we ask in the precious name of your Son. Amen. session, excuse me, this regular meeting of the Township Council is being held in accordance with the schedule of meetings of the Township Council established and adopted by the Township Council with scheduled designated time, date, and place of this meeting. Adequate public notice of this meeting has been provided pursuant to the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act. Or use an electronic amplifying recording device in order to obtain audible and clear record. We request all those wishing to speak be recognized and state your name and address directly into the microphone. The court advice be solely utilized by the Township Clerk's Office shall be the official record of Township Council meetings. Roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Present. Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Mr. Seiler? Here. Mrs. Gentech? Mrs. Trotto? Here. Mr. Mercado? Present. Mr. Bean Keeney? Present. Mayor Mayers? Here. Mr. Moffa? Present. Mr. Lechner? Here. Chief Earl? Here. Mr. Carlemier? Here. Mr. Cardis? Here. Uh, just for the record, Mrs. Uh, Gentech is um, with her son who's being inducted into the National uh, Honor Society. We have the first public portion. Anyone wishing to speak on any agenda item only, please raise your hand and come to the mic. Ray?
evening, Council Ray Paldor area. Just a quick question on the uh, sale of the liquor license. Um, on an average, or at this point, this particular liquor license, what is the? That's open for a public hearing at the time the license comes up. So, you know, particularly... It's just a basic question in, in, in that. What does the liquor license sell for in uh, in our it's, country? Um, one that's already owned by a, a private owner. It's so a transfer? Yeah, it's a transfer, so I, I, I don't know what the price was. No, person person. That's an, an even transfer or, or between two parties, township, right. not involved in it. Okay. And the only other question I had. Oh, um, that's not with the agenda, so you've answered my question. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing no other hands, we close the first public portion. Where is the first, oh, excuse me, minutes? Waive the reading and accept the minutes of October 10th, 2012. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. On the question? <coughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Mr. Seiler? Yes. Mrs. Strada? Yes. Mr. Mercado? I'll abstain, I wasn't first. Mr. B, can you Yes. Ordinance, this ordinance is a first reading. Ordinance 0 12 25. Ordinance of vacating a portion of Melbourne Avenue, Lot 27 and Lot 17, which is to be consolidated to become New Lot 17 in the Township of Gloucester, County of Camden, State of New Jersey. This ordinance allows the consolidation of Lot 27 and Lot 17 into becoming a Lot 17. Dave, you want to add to that? Yeah, if council recalls, this, this Melbourne Avenue was part of the track of ground known as Lot 17, which was really made up of two, two or three other lots that were consolidated. This is the conifer acquisition uh, for that development. As part of the planning board approval for that site plan, Melbourne Avenue, which was a paper street, uh, was recommended as part of their planning board approval for vacating. Uh, it's a paper street, which would interfere with the normal course of that development there, and it's appropriate for uh, being vacated. So this ordinance just vacates that as recommended by the planning board. Motion to adopt. Second. Second. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Mr. Seiler? Yes. Mrs. Strato? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Mr. B. Haney? Yes. Resolutions? Table of resolution. Resolution authorizing the sale of surplus vehicles and equipment. Uh, as the resolution title states, this resolution will allow the township to sell surplus vehicles and equipment. Anything like that, I think? Uh, no, no, I think the, uh, there wasn't a, a, a term for the uh, holding that, so maybe just have a motion to remove it from the table. I have a motion to remove uh, this table resolution. I'll make that motion. I'll second. On the question, roll call. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Mr. Seiler? Yes. Mrs. Estrada? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Mr. Bean Keeney? Yes. I have a motion to approve resolution 224. So moved. Second. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Mr. Seiler? Yes. Mrs. Estrada? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Mr. Bean Keeney? Yes. We now have resolutions of consent agenda. Any council person wishing to remove any of these resolutions, please let me know now. Mr. President, I make a motion to accept the consent agenda as presented. Second that. On the question, roll call, please. Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Mr. Seiler? Yes. Mr. Strato? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Mr. Bean Keeney? Yes. Regular agenda? 239, resolution considering application of Frank Loletta Jr. for a person-to-person -person transfer of a plenary retail consumption license held by Charlie Brands of Blackwood LLC in the pocket. Uh, the resolution allows the transfer of a plenary retail consumption license from Charles Brown to Charlie Brown to Frank Loletta and it's in pocket. Uh, just for uh, council's information, that application is properly before this governing body, has been properly noticed and advertised. It is uh, going through the uh, normal required uh, by state law police investigation. Uh, there are no objections from the police department and no objections publicly. So it's in order for adoption. Motion to adopt. So moved. Second. On the question. Roll call, please. <coughs> Mr. Hutchison? Yes. Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Mr. Seiler? Yes. Mrs. Strada? Yes. Mr. Mercado? Yes. Mr. Bean? Yes. 
Mayor's report. Thank you, uh, Mr. President, members of council. Uh, good evening. Uh, before I uh, go through uh, some of the activities that's happening in town, I do want to uh, welcome uh, Troop uh, 811 uh, here uh, with us as well. And Sean, which troop are you? 77 as well, uh, here working on some of their merit badges and appreciate what they do in, in their service to, uh, to our community. In fact, Troop 811 uh, was out at our gun range a couple weekends ago where we had um, a full, uh, full uh, obstacle course uh, demonstrations out there. Uh, the state police helicopter was there. Our command uh, center was, uh, mobile command unit was there. Um, so it was, I, I think, a great, uh, great morning uh, for, uh, for the troops and, and um, for the scouts. And so we welcome them here uh, uh, this evening. Just to update you on a couple of things that, uh, that's happening this coming, uh, this coming weekend is, of course, make a uh, difference day here in, in Gloucester Township. And that is beginning uh, Saturday morning at 9 a.m. At, um, at our community park. So it's a way for our residents to come out, uh, lend a hand, uh, uh, to uh, to uh, you know give back to our community and make a difference here in Gloucester Township. So I encourage everyone to uh, to participate in that. And also October the twenty uh, seventh, we are having Halloween, uh, a movie party uh, at four p.m. at the uh, at the recreation center. Uh, of course, uh, lastly, the uh, October twenty sixth is going to be a ghost seminar. A ghost seminar at our Gabriel Davies uh, Tavern. And that is running from uh, 6 to, uh, to 10 p.m. and encourage our residents to uh, go out and enjoy the Gabriel Davies Tavern. It's a hidden gem here in our community, a beautiful uh, historic home um, right next to our new community gardens. So I ask everybody to participate in that and thank uh, Main Stage and everyone who helped uh, put the Pumpkin Festival uh, together. It was a uh, beautiful day and very successful event. So thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, we do not have any GTE.gov access questions. Uh, Mayor, do you want to uh, address the uh, before the public portion? Thank you. Uh, good evening. I wanted to, uh, I know some folks here in the audience are, are here regarding the uh, disc golf uh, proposal at Timber Creek, uh, T Timber Creek uh, Park. And I've spoken to some of you uh, over the phone and have met with uh, some of you uh, regarding that. And just wanted to make sure that, um, you know, everyone understood what my position was and is and what the, um, you know, what, what, what's happening moving forward. So the, there is a proposal to, to at the county uh, park here to, uh, do a disc golf, which is a, a, a game that you use frisbees, for lack of a better uh, term, uh, it's similar to golf, uh, but not using the uh, the golf balls. And and so uh, there was a plan that was designed that I just saw about two weeks ago uh, that um, used a good portion of I would refer to and Chris helped me out the lower and uh, lower forest uh, of of the. Uh, Right, and, and so um, I had an opportunity to walk out there and uh, look at, at what the not only proposed uh, course was, but what, what, was, um, what was starting to be designed out there. And so um, my concern was that it was really encroaching on a lot of the sensitive areas in, in, in that park. And so I expressed to the freeholders, in particular uh, Freeholder Nash, who has been very good in, in communicating with, with uh, the township over the last couple of weeks regarding regarding this project. And, you know, I, I think that we have to find a balance, uh, a balance of providing recreation uh, here in Gloucester Township uh, with uh, protecting our environment. And so with that, I think that we can still accomplish uh, having recreation and having a disc golf um, course, if you will, uh, at Timber Creek uh, Park. But I don't think that it should be encroaching on the uh, forestry on the lower, uh, the lower end of the um, of the uh, park. However, if you are familiar with Timber Creek Park, there is a uh, large uh, open area and there is some wooded area along the, uh, the strip up there that perhaps can be uh, conducive to that type of uh, activity. And um, again, uh, we need to balance the recreational needs versus our, our environmental needs. So I, I communicated that to, uh, to the county. But I, Again, it's not a decision that I or this township uh, gets to make, as it is a, 
the township, uh, I mean, it is a county park. So um, I've communicated with that with, uh, with uh, two of the uh, freeholders, and I'm um, happy at this time to uh, answer your questions and go from there. Sure. Can you tell us the means by which you communicated this to the freeholders, and is it uh, shareable with the public sure. in any written form? Oh, no, I didn't write it. Uh, I guess I could, but I did, um, I did communicate that verbally today. Today. Mm -hmm. Would you would you well, consider sharing that in a written form sure. so that we can let everybody know? Sure. What your be happy to. Is? Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. Yeah, be happy to. How would you? you how yeah, I'll you email know? you something, Chris. Is that, that right? Great. Yeah. Thank you so sure. much. Sure. We really appreciate your support yeah. for the environment in Tinker Creek Park, and we know you love it too. And so we hope that uh, you'll be able to walk that park and see its wildlife and its nature. And, and Oh, it's it's a great park, and I have to say, and you know my history with it, as we were talking about it, that that was slated to be a, a very large development in, in Gloucester Township, and I was on council in 2003, and really uh, led an effort to get petitions signed to uh, to save that uh, to save that land. But again, I want to be very clear that I think that we can accomplish this, uh, but it has to be done in, in in the right way. And so I think we can accomplish having this type of recreation there. But uh, has to be in in uh, an area that's not affecting the sensitivity of the uh, environment there. And I, I want to thank Councilman Mercado, who wrote to me in 2005, saying that uh, the township would always have a voice in what was done in that park. And I'm glad to see that we're continuing on that vision. Then I'm happy to. Uh, it's, it's the public portion, right, Plan? So you can open up to any <laughs> other questions. <laughs> We'll have our second public portion, and if anyone wants to uh, discuss any item, uh, please raise your hand and come to the microphone. Joanne? Wayne Clark, Timber Birch. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I wanted to mention again the, uh, the Family Ghost Night, Friday night at Gabriel Davies Tavern. Weather permitting, because last year the only snow we had was in October. So we're praying for dry weather Friday night <laughs> and we should have we should have a really good time. But I also wanted to thank Len Moth and the Public Works who uh, who got the inner landing property fixed for us and now the Historic Committee has a home and a place to have their meetings that we don't have to hunt for them every month. But, uh, and it really looks great, and we, we thank them. Thank you, Joanne. Anyone else? Seeing no other hands, we close the second public portion. Calling of directors and council, please. Thank you. Mr. Moffa? Nothing at this time. Mr. Lechner? Nothing to report, thank you. <coughs> Chief Earl? Nothing to report, thank you. Carlemier? Nothing to report. Mr. Cardis? Nothing to report. Mr. Hutchinson. To the scouts who attended this evening, thank you very much. Um, we appreciate your being here. Uh, to everybody else, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Schmidt. I too would like to thank everyone for coming out this evening and staying. And 811, it's good to see a lot of you guys again. Thanks for the hugs. Have a good evening. Mr. Seiler. I was very pleased to see so many people come out to the Pumpkin Festival last weekend after being rescheduled for a week. I think it was a tremendous success. I thank all the people that participated in that. Mrs. Trotter? Thank you everyone for coming out and have a great week. Mr. Mercado? Thank you for coming out this evening. Um, the main stage in the Pumpkin Festival doesn't go off without the help of our police department and our public works department. So I want to thank them for the work that they've done in making that a successful event. Thank you and have a good night. Dan Keeney. Yeah, I'd like to thank all the residents for attending tonight's meeting. Uh, thank you to Troop 811 for attending. Uh, I too want to thank um, Public Works and the police department for a, a beautiful uh, uh, pumpkin fest. It was a great, uh, great day. Um, I was in the uh, Timber Creek Park today. My son uh, runs for uh, Highland High School Cross Country. It's a gorgeous park. It's beautiful. There's a lot of things that um, it gives you the nature, the, the little creek or, or Timber Creek portion back there. It's just a, it is a gem, and I'm glad it's preserved. Uh, there would have been, I believe, 800 homes going up uh, one time. Um, so uh, 
I, I was on council with Dave when uh, we pushed to uh, keep that open. I think it was the best, uh, one of our better decisions. So um, it, it is beautiful, and, and we're happy to uh, to keep Gloucester Township's voice in the forefront. Thank you. And I thank the mayor for, for doing all that. With that, I ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Uh, Good night. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was very nice. I appreciate it. No problem. Have a good day, Sean.